I have devoted my life to higher education and will continue to do so. I have no intent. I'm walking, I'm walking from, uh, from uh, Bricker Hall across the Oval and uh, I have uh, much to contribute and much to do, but I want to contribute in a time in which I have some space to do so. I also have a significant other in California and we've had a heck of a struggle figuring out how we're going to, uh, going to make all of this work. And the final thing, of course, is that uh, university is in an extremely strong position. I feel very confident about where we are and, uh, and the opportunity to continue to be part of that, but to be part of it from a way in which I can be more helpful in some instances than on the day-to-day -day, uh, leadership role. No one's going to sit here and act as if, you know, Gordon at times didn't make a mistake or two. Um, but in context, that is a very small piece of his body of work. And I think everyone that knows him knows that. And he should be judged by his body of work, which is overwhelming. And the trustees, and I, what I said before is the, the way the trustees feel. The trustees are steadfast that this man has been an extraordinary president. Frankly, the best I've ever seen. And um, this was his decision. And this is about honoring and respecting a decision to retire after an extraordinary uh, commitment by this man to give his life to higher education. He's not done. I, I want to be very clear to everyone. I am leaving the presidency. I'm not leaving uh, the university. I intend on being a very active participant. In fact, uh, in many ways, I can be a much more, uh, uh, a much more uh, engaged uh, fundraiser on behalf of the university in my new role because the fact that I'll have more time and I'll have uh, more ability to be able to uh, spend time legitimately uh, doing those kinds of things. So I, I will be fully engaged in furthering the agenda of the university. I will just not be uh, on the day-to-day -day firing line. And to me, um, that gives me the joy of doing the things that I really feel most passionately about, continue to be engaged with students in a variety of ways and continuing to do other kinds of things. I, uh, I, you know, this is not a funeral, this is a, this is a new phase in my life. Uh, Gordon's role uh, on a go-forward basis is, is really uh, going to be largely as an advocate, uh, as, as a citizen, if you will, but he'll also be likely teaching at the law school and doing some other things, and those, those, those issues are still to be worked out, and I have no doubt they will be. Gordon wants to, Gordon loves this university, and this university loves him, but he also knows that there can only be one president. And, uh, and, and as we move forward, at least on an interim basis, the man on my left is more than capable. And, uh, and the board is excited to begin to work with him. And I, know, and I know Gordon agrees with that, and perhaps even more forcefully than I do. I think it's important to recognize that uh, much of what Gordon has done during this time is behind the scenes in terms of building a structure to have a continuation of the momentum that we have. And so the, the issue for us going forward is how to continue that, how to continue to build on it as we move towards attracting a, uh, a, new, uh, a new president to this institution. I want to be judged by the, uh, by the momentum of the institutions that I served. I think each institution has, uh, has uh, legitimately made real progress. Uh, and certainly I believe that Ohio State is Mr. Lincoln's university. I can't say this enough. This institution may in many ways be the most important university in this country. It's been an honor to, to be part of it, but I also think that we've repositioned it in a leadership role that few institutions are, uh, are capable of, of doing, uh, both financially and culturally and socially and academically. We play uh, at a very high level, and, um, and I take a lot of pride in that.